Tech Engineering. Uh, we're once again looking at this uh, customer's engine and one thing that uh, we've added to this engine which I think is going to be fantastic for Jabiru users is this electronic ignition system in radial engines for nearly 12 years. And on our radial engines, if anybody that's seen them start, they start first hit, literally first blade. And obviously Jabiru's have a bit of a, um, a tendency for hard starting, particularly when they're cold or the battery's a little bit so down. The engine is turning for the electronic ignition, the greater the spark. Whereas a magneto, the slower it's turning, the weaker the spark, which is not ideal for starting, obviously, when you're at your slowest cranking speeds. So what we've got here is we've got the Rotec ignition system on the left-hand side, and we're retaining the standard Jabiru magneto on the right-hand side. So in my opinion, and that's how we've run our radials for years, and we think that's a fantastic combination. One, because you've got two different systems that are, that are completely independent, so you've still got your, your redundancy. You've got fantastic spark at cranking, so your engine's going to start instantly every time, no matter what the temperature of it. Whereas this electronic ignition system here, what we've got is a, a um, we've got a sensor pickup, which is picking up the uh, the original Jabiru magnets. It's then feeding its pulse over to a Bosch module mounted down. So there's the ignition module that that sensor is uh, feeding, and then of course then that ignition module is tripping a standard automotive uh, high output coil. And this engine will literally hand start if we wanted it to. The battery could be as flat as it likes, it's going to start first hit. Because unlike a magneto, this does not require high cranking speeds to make spark. In fact, as soon as the hall sensor senses any magnetic activity, it immediately triggers this module to throw a spark out of this coil. And it's a big deep... Anyway, we think it's a fantastic combination and we will be selling these as, um, as kits. Uh, the module, the coil and an ignition lead to plug straight back into the distributor cap. The, the coil just replaces the original magneto coil and feeds the the same distributor cap, so nothing changes. Our sensor plate into position, the timing is already taken care of by virtue of the fact that these holes position this plate, that these bolts position this plate exactly. So yeah, there's nothing to do. The customer just has to bolt this in position, put a little bit of a feeler gauge between the sensor and the magnets to make sure that they're not rubbing or gonna foul. And then literally it's plug and play. You've got a pigtail here. So you simply plug your pigtail in, tie that off with some heat shrink, or um, some wire so it doesn't come apart and you're ready to go. Anyway, I'll demonstrate just how easily this ignition system starts. So we'll turn our master on, the water pumps on, fuel pumps on. Now, this is the magneto. I'm just gonna turn the electronic ignition on and watch the blades. Clear prop.